Hello class, this is continuing on the general shape of trigonometric functions. In the previous video, we looked at the sine curve. In this video, we're going to be looking at the cosine curve. So we saw the idea of a, um, of a function as a number machine moving along the x-axis and then running that number through the number machine. In this case, it's the unit circle. And for sine, we saw that it was the height of the y value at any degree that we took. Right? So at 90 degrees, we looked at that height. At 180 degrees, we look at the height of y. In this case, it was 0. And each of those heights we mapped onto here. We're going to do the same thing now with the x values of cosine. Because remember, cosine refers to the x values of the unit circle. So let's begin first running this number machine to 0 degrees. So at 0 degrees, we start off from the initial. And we draw that, um, that, that uh, terminating angle here. This is 0 degrees. And for cosine, we measure the length of x. So what is the x length at 0 degrees? Well, that's a length of 1. So in actual fact, cosine begins on 1. Let's now move this number machine along the x-axis until we get to 90 degrees. So take very close attention to the x value at, at each point. Now remember, when we do the function, we draw the triangle at that angle. And for cosine, we measure the length of x. So this length here. Notice how it starts from. It starts from. 1 and it gets shorter and shorter because remember this is the x length as well or down here if it helps more it's getting shorter and shorter as it moves along until it gets to 90 degrees so in actual fact it goes from 1 and it comes lower and lower until it gets to 90 degrees oops like this until it hits zero a length of zero it's a length of zero because here the x value well it has no x value now when we go from um from 90 degrees to 180 degrees what do you notice about the length of x so when it's here, for example, the length of x here is actually negative. Hence y, it's going to go below the x-axis until it hits 180 degrees. And it gets to 180 degrees. Remember, that's 180 degrees. The length of x is actually negative 1. So negative 1 is here. When uh, x is when x is 180 degrees, the function cosine of x is negative one. Hence, why it'll let me draw this a little bit neater. Hence, why it'll curve down like this. Yeah. Let's continue. When it goes from 180 degrees, so 180 degrees like this, all the way to 270 degrees, once again, the length of x goes from 1, and it gets shorter and shorter. Let me map this out for you so you can see it. It goes shorter and shorter the closer it gets to 200 and 70 degrees until when it gets to 270 degrees the length of x is actually zero 
So from 180 to 270, it goes from negative 1 to 0. Because remember, this is 0. Now you can probably see the pattern here. When it goes from 0, length of 0 on x, it'll go from 0. And then now, when it hits on this side, the x value has now gone positive. And it gets longer and longer, that x value there, until it eventually gets to 360 degrees, and it goes back to 1. You can probably see that this as well, sorry, let me, that this as well will cycle and repeat itself when it goes to the negatives. So it, it'll go down like this, and it will repeat itself much like sine does as well. Okay, so I hope that gave you um, another insight into the cosine curve. We'll do one more video on tan, and then we'll sh and I'll show you, and I'll demonstrate to you um, the, a proper graph of these using a graphing calculator.